Do you ever wish you were more than what you are? You know, I think most people do. I mean, why else do you think we take courses, we read improvement books, we watch YouTube videos, we exercise? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you that you are already more than what you think you are. I could really do with some help to feel better about myself. Before I go any further, I just want to clarify what this video is not. I'm not going to commiserate with you about how poorly you feel about yourself. And I'm not going to tell you how I used to have low self-esteem. And then I did these wonderful things, these exercises, these courses, and I'm going to share them with you and it'll build up your self-esteem. No, 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 no. This is not about self-esteem. So then, what do I have to do to be better than I think I am? The other thing this video is not about, it's not about finding out that you are more than you think you are by pushing yourself to do things more and more and more. And then you find out oh, that you're more than you thought you were. No, 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 no. It's not about pushing yourself. I give up. How can I be more than I think I am without building my self-esteem or pushing myself? Hello, hello, hello. It's Carol Ann Chapman. Now, when I say you're more than you think you are, I mean the same thing that Joseph Campbell meant. And do you know who Joseph Campbell is? Never heard of him. He wrote numbers of books. One of them is The Hero with a Thousand Faces. And George Lucas, do you know who George Lucas is? Hmm, actually, sounds familiar. George Lucas is the guy who created Star Wars. I mean, he's it with Star Wars. All that wonderful animation that came out of his fantastic mind. And he says that he got his inspiration from Joseph Campbell's book, The Hero with a Thousand Faces. Okay, so this is what Joseph Campbell says. You are more than you think you are. Your life is much deeper and broader than you conceive it to be here. Isn't that nice? Okay, I definitely like that. But what I really want is help with my everyday life. Well, that's exactly what I'm talking about. This part of you that is more than what you think you are has wonderful messages for your everyday life. All right, but how? Because I'm not about to go on a spiritual retreat or anything weird like that. Well, again, you're in luck. Because to find out that you're more than you think you are, you aren't going to have to go on a mountain or to the seashore. You won't have to find a guru or sit cross-legged or do exercises. You won't have to run extra hard or sail to your endurance limit or climb rocks or anything like that. If you've enjoyed this video so far, I would just love it if you would tap that like button. It would make me really happy and encourage me and it'll also help other people to see this video. The suspense is killing me. How am I going to find out I'm more than I think I am? You are going to have to do something. And I bet it's something you do every day. And that is to go to sleep. <laughs> because what I'm talking about is the wonderful messages you get in your dreams that most people totally discount. Dreams? Dreams are just nonsense. What? Did you say dreams are nonsense? You've got to be kidding. I met my husband in a dream. But you must have already known him and just put him in the dream. Wrong again. This is a man I'd never met before. I'd never seen him before. I didn't even know he existed. In fact, if I hadn't had the dream, I don't think I would have noticed him. Really? Okay, I'm interested. Tell me. So. Right over here is a video I made a number of years ago that tells you some of the details of that dream. And in the next video, I'm going to tell you some things I didn't tell you in that video that I think had a lot to do with why I dreamt about this stranger.
that's now been my husband for 29 years to Lou.